Good morning, Pat Zemer here with MagnaWave. Glad to be with you on this Tuesday morning. We come together every Tuesday morning, uh, except last week where we were at a trade show, but we come together every Tuesday morning to answer your questions, whatever they may be, about PEMF, MagnaWave, devices, training, anything that you want to talk about, uh, particular questions about indications, whatever it may be, we're here to answer your questions. I'm also broadcasting live this morning on Periscope through Twitter. So to those out there in the Periscope land, if you have questions, uh, put them up. I'll be able to uh, see them here on my screen uh, on Periscope, and I'd be happy to answer them at that point in time as well. Also, if you'd like to uh, call and have a discussion with me, uh, we can do that as well. They'll put the number up here on the screen so we can uh, see that, and we'll have that number. It's 502-599-9722. Send a text to that number, and then I will call you back, and we can have our. You can ask your question, or we can have our discussion. The reason we do it that way is I don't. We don't don't have multiple people trying to call at the same time. I can only get to one at a time uh, on the phone that I'm using to uh, to talk with you. So send me a text to that number 502-599-9722 and I'd be happy to uh, call you back and answer your questions. Those of you on Periscope can do the same thing. Uh, 502-599-9722. Uh, I will call you back and we can have a conversation accordingly. Also, something I'd like to do this morning is if you'd be so kind, those of you who are uh, watching with us today would be to share this uh, episode with your friends. Uh, they may like to know and learn more about MagnaWave and MagnaWave, how it may be beneficial to them as well, uh, whether you're treating people, small animals, horses, or other large animals. Share this so people can uh, have an opportunity to join us and uh, participate in the program. If we get up to uh, 100 people today, we got up in the, I think we were up in almost 40 or something in our last broadcast who were watching live at one point in time. If we get up to 100 people, I'd be amazed and I'd give away something uh, pretty special uh, for the day to those who are uh, participating at that point. Also, I want to encourage you, if you use Alexa, uh, go to your Alexa device, uh, sign in, and uh, sign up for the daily MagnaWave Flash Briefings. I present every day, myself or Alexa, prevents, uh, prevents, presents a flash briefing dealing with indications, with protocols, guidelines, uh, questions that were asked, history uh, of PEMF. So it's just a great place if you're interested in using PEMF for your own health and wellness to pick up tidbits on how PEMF is used uh, in various indications. If you're a practitioner, it's a great way to get uh, continual reminders of uh, things you can do with PEMF and just to keep uh, everything working active for you. So sign up for Alexa. Also uh, beginning tomorrow on Alexa, there will be a way for you to text to enter into a drawing for various attachments, uh, devices, whatever it may be, and that'll start tomorrow. So when you uh, listen to the uh, flash briefing, you'll be told what to text, and you text it in, and you'll be entered in to uh, participate in those types of activities. So we're just looking to uh, build our viewership and give you opportunities to have more content uh, at your disposal. So again, if you'd like to visit with me today, uh, those who uh, call in uh, and visit. We'll receive a MagnaWave hat. We'll send that out to you uh, for your uh, gear uh, package. MagnaWave hats to those who call in and uh, visit with me today. Here it is. So uh, let me get on. I've got some questions that have been uh, asked uh, over the last week or so. Again, we weren't here last week because we were at the EquestraCon event uh, here in Louisville in association with the Breeders' Cup. Uh, the Breeders' Cup went off very well last year. It was a little rainy on Wednesday, but it cleared up somewhat on Thursday and then uh, our, our Thursday and uh, Friday and then Saturday for the finals was a pretty pretty good day. Uh, I'm going to go through all the horses uh, that ran, all the finishing in the races, and be able to tell you uh, how many races MagnaWave was in the money, how many races uh, MagnaWave uh, trainers uh, who use MagnaWave uh, were in the winner's circle, so on and so forth. I'll have those uh, numbers for you and I'll post them on the MagnaWave uh, corporate page uh, here later in the week. I know we had uh, some winners. John Service was a winner uh, who uses MagnaWave and so that was uh, a lot of fun as well. So uh, do that and we'd be more than happy to uh, 
uh, to share that information with you. So again, if you have a question, send me a text and I'd be happy to uh, get with you. A couple of uh, machine types of questions here at the beginning that we've been asked. Uh, a writer asks, I'm sharing, I'm renting a booth at a horse show, need to know how many amps I need to power my MagnaWave machine. The options are 5, 10, 15, and 20 amps. Well, they add, the devices really, uh, for a single device, takes about oh, 160 to 180 watts uh, to run the machine. That's the equivalent of 360 watt light bulbs. So typically 10 to 15 amps, 20 amps would certainly be enough, but 10 to 15 amps would be ample to power the machine uh, in that type of environment. Also, uh, someone wrote that they're looking to find a battery pack uh, to, uh, or a small generator to power their semi machine or any other machine. Again, it doesn't take a lot of power to run these devices. So uh, a couple of hundred watts, if you can get a 400 watt small generator uh, or a, f a four or 500 watt or even, you know, but anyway, or anything from two to 400 watts type of battery. Uh, a lot of folks have used a little motorcycle battery with a pure sign inventor uh, in, 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 inverter <laughs> got it a pure sign inverter where people can take the clips put them on the battery and and then plug their machine into the pure sign inverter with a uh, just a small motorcycle battery and they're able to get several hours of usage uh, out of their machine so it doesn't take a lot but certainly more is better so you know you got enough wattage uh, to uh, operate your device Okay, uh, and then we have a question uh, that I was asked. Um, any experience with black widow bites uh, in a dog or on a dog? And uh, no, one, no fun having a black widow bite uh, on an animal or a person, certainly. Uh, typically, the thing that we try to be careful of, it, it's like, you know, if you use a topical on the body and then you mag the wave over the top of it, it helps push that topical into the body to achieve the desired results you're looking for. So imagine if you've got a, a poisonous bite uh, from an insect uh, or an, uh, you know, a snake or something like that. If you have a poisonous bite, we want to get rid of those toxins, get rid of that poison as best as possible before we go treating for pain or inflammation relief in the area. So what we recommend in this case, particularly when they're talking about a black widow, uh, bite uh, on a dog is to, and there are some ways to do it. There are some packs you can put on it. Certainly the veterinarian would know uh, ways to help draw that poison out at the point of injury or entry to help clear that area. And then once that's all calm and, and taken care of, then you can proceed with the magna wave for any pain or inflammation that was caused uh, as a result of that bite but if you go after it immediately when that when the toxin or the poison is there in the area well you're going to maybe spread it if you will or help it be assimilated into the body so you want to certainly in those types of situations make sure you talk with your veterinarian or your doctor as to the best way to approach that when you get a poisonous bite like that a great question. So if you have any other questions, I see there's several folks uh, with us today. Thanks for the uh, likes that, that you're giving us. We certainly um, appreciate that. Again, if you're watching, uh, please share this so we can get more people uh, to join us to see um, how many we can get with us today uh, on the broadcast. Okay. Um, and then there's a question, has anyone worked with an animal with laryngeal par paralysis? Uh, she has a client that would like her bring her two-year-old St. Bernard in for a treatment uh, sessions to help with this condition. Could it possibly reverse this or slow the progression? Well, certainly we have found in horses uh, when they have uh, what they call uh, breathing issues or paralyzed flap or whatever it may be in, in the larynx uh, with paralysis, the sooner you catch it, the better off you are. There are stages. There are stage two, stage three, stage four. If you're at a point where the paralysis is very advanced and severe, then you know to be able to reverse it is very difficult. If you get in there and you're massaging the, the muscles of the area and the nerves and you're improving the blood flow to the area, is there a potential that you're going to slow the progression or in maybe some cases reverse it? Certainly there would be a discussion there uh, that could be had. It will certainly 
help all of that with the massaging of the of the muscle tissue the nerves the blood vessels the oxygenation that occurs to assist in those situations in many indications you can certainly slow the progression or and keep it from getting any worse so it's certainly something uh, to address. As I've said in, in the racehorse world, we've had a lot of success with that to keep it from advancing and to keep it under control. And there are, there are people, there are times when you have people with paralysis that have experienced some peripheral uh, improvement and, and certainly the, the device has been shown, PEMF has been shown through the NASA study and other studies to potentially enhance nerve regeneration and repair. So you have those types of situations. A lot of that problem is, is caused by inflammation around the area and so we want to do what we can with the MagnaWave PEMF to again enhance uh, the nerve conditions and what may, may be going on in those types of uh, situations. So great question and uh, let us know how it goes. Uh, if you're watching today, uh, we'll certainly respond to this answer accordingly in another fashion so you can keep us up to speed as to uh, what is happening. Okay, another question uh, that we receive quite often is uh, how long after chemo treatments uh, should a cancer patient wait be start before starting PEMF? Well, certainly, uh, as we know, we were discussing with the poisonous, type, poisonous bite type of situation, we want to wait until the toxins of those types of things of the cancer chemo treatment are pretty well um, removed or away from the body that they've done their job and, and we've kind of found a guideline uh, could be uh, to wait 24 uh, to uh, 24 to 48 hours after the chemotherapy is finished so it's assimilated out of the body pretty much and then you can go in and deal with pain issues and improving blood flow and blood oxygenation uh, with the use of this type of uh, PEMF type of application. So that's the type that kind of period we we don't want to treat during chemotherapy again because as we as we know quite often people who are, are taking chemo uh, become ill or they become take on sick uh, or irritable type of uh, uh, situations and they feel bad and, they, and their sickness if you will and we don't want to do anything to enhance that during the chemo uh, application so that's certainly something uh, to look at but I would talk with the doctors there are cases where people cannot receive uh, the amount of chemo that the doctor may want them to have and so maybe something that helps it do its job without making them ill could be of benefit so certainly talk about these uh, situations with your doctor as we all always recommend anytime you're dealing with a condition like this it's always paramount to check with your veterinarian or your doctor before you begin any new type of regimen or work on a particular issue that that you're dealing with so you can remain within the parameters that they're comfortable in working with so again if you have any questions uh, give me a shout uh, here I'd be happy to visit with you on the phone uh, or answer any questions uh, that you may have Brad will put the questions up on the screen I'll be able to see them and uh, answer your questions uh, at that time okay let's see here Gillian Barr related condition uh, has anyone had any dealings with this uh, Gillian Barr and other it's caused by a condition where the uh, nerve impulses are interrupted or stopped because the fat cells around uh, that wraps around the nerves are depleted and so you the condition develops and people have found uh, in treating the overall body again to help the good oxygenation good healthy blood cells and blood flow to be there so pe allowing the body to be in a state to better heal itself and so this is something to certainly again to discuss with your doctor but can uh, people have found and it's if you go to the MagnaWave uh, International Resource and Education group on Facebook you can search this and you'll see uh, the results that people have had and how they have used this testimonials how they have used this type of therapy to provide some comfort and relief to people who are suffering from a condition like Gillian Barr and uh, so it's a great question and it's something that people always have uh, questions questions about okay so uh, we've got a lot of uh, we're up to 25 or uh, 25 to 30 folks uh, with us this morning again share this let's see if we can boot that number up a little bit if you'd like to have one of the uh, 
MagnaWave hats here to uh, improve your gear as you're uh, walking around your area or working in your clinic or whatever it may be, give me a shout. Uh, if we don't get some input, maybe we'll switch this so we can uh, uh, get some of that activity up. Maybe folks are this time of year wanting uh, hoodies. If you'd like to have a hoodie, uh, MagnaWave hoodie we can uh, do that as well so we'll give you a choice today a hoodie or a hat if you'd like to visit with me give me a call and let's let's talk about some issues okay let's see oh here's another another question that I've received a client's horse broke its kneecap two and a half months ago uh, and they were wondering if PMF would be a good therapy for her mare. She said that the mare's walking pretty good, uh, and the vet told her it's best to leave the, p the piece floating uh, in the area of in injury. Has anyone dealt with this type of case in the past? Well, certainly uh, it's going to help the healing uh, of the area, allowing the body to better uh, heal itself and certainly uh, we've had situations in humans and animals where there are breaks and we want to get the healing uh, quickly and we want to help the mobility and the movement so in this type of situation to treat the area of the knee and, and the kneecap to again help the blood flow and the blood oxygenation is very beneficial can keep uh, problems from developing keep the range of motion as good as it can be with the injury keep the inflammation at bay with the injury so we don't have things that creep up animals are a little different certainly than we are as people we do something and it we know what it's doing we hurt our knee or break a kneecap or, or or have an ACL or an MCL type of injury we know what's going on we know it's there and so we know uh, how to react to that type of situation an animal on the other hand doesn't do that so if they're having issue you won't know until all of a sudden they're not walking you know, they, they stop they go lame if you will and so they're not their soundness is impacted so uh, you want to try to stay uh, ahead of those types of situations you want to you want to work to prevent things from developing uh, in that type of situation as I was saying so that's always something to look at again on a person well no I need to treat my knee I need to do it every day or I need to do it as often as I can or once a week to keep it f moving well or that type of thing a horse won't tell us the problem will just develop and next thing you know you got you got an issue uh, that you're dealing with so you know keep that kind of stuff in mind but I do think that it would be an uh, excellent type of application uh, for this person we're blowing right through the questions today uh, and that's fine and again I'll be here as long as necessary to answer whatever questions uh, you may have if you want to discuss something with me or if you want to uh, present the question and uh, have me approach it at, at that point um, we'll give you an update on some studies that are going on and uh, as far as MagnaWave is concerned and uh, where we are with that information uh, question um, always uh, can MagnaWave help with pelvic congestion uh, my daughter has been plagued with it for a couple of years great pain she has a stent put in her iliac artery to correct the what is called the May Therner syndrome uh, and it helped a bit well and and uh, so I went back and I looked and I take paid attention to what our training person Aaron Hughes uh, wrote about this type of condition and uh, she talks that uh, MTS the May Therner syndrome is caused when the iliac vein is compressed by the right iliac artery which increases the risk of deep vein thrombosis DVT uh, in the left e extremity or blood clots and uh, she talks so she talks about number one treating the area the pain comes from inflammation that is caused by the by the compression and, and and the congestion and so if we can help the blood flow and relieve the 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 inflammation around the area we can help with the with the pain relief certainly and if we keep the blood flow in good shape we can potentially help the body to avoid any clotting situation that would occur by maintaining good blood flow uh, within the system and so that great question and uh, appreciate the question okay we've got a couple of uh, a couple of uh, people here that like to visit Hazel Reed wants to talk let's uh, bring up Hazel here let's uh, call her and see what we can uh, do uh, in this situation those of you on the Periscope, I hope you can uh, hear us at this point, but uh, here we go. Good, Good morning. Mo hey, Hazel, how are you? 
I'm good. How are you, Pat? I'm great. Uh, you have a question for us this morning or something I you do. want to discuss? I okay. do. I have um, a trigger finger. Okay. Which uh, my finger, if I bend it, it locks. Okay. Um, and I've been I've been treating my hand with the paddle. Uh huh. Didn't get a whole lot of change, but I've been so um, in my training. I know it says to go up the river, so I went up the arm, and it has helped some. Okay. Um, should should I be changing it out with a different attachment or uh, I? Well, I would do I would do two things. Uh, I, I would think going up the river is is a good thing to consider because, and I'd go up the river and around the bend, and I'd go do the back and the shoulder and move down the back because we don't know where the nerve, uh, maybe potential impingement is coming from that it could could potentially be affecting your your uh, your finger. So I would certainly treat the upper okay. neck area on both sides, the shoulder okay. and, and down the spine. If you have the mat, I would use that or the large loop to treat your to treat your neck and back as you do it. Certainly the elbow um, okay. can could be you know a lot of times we don't understand where the referred situation is coming from and right. and for example and I've talked about this before I have issue uh, with my left thumb um, that just it, it just painful and whether it's arthritis or whatever it is well I learned uh, you know talking to my doctor I have an issue right here in the left upper part of my neck probably caused by stress potentially how I sit when I drive or I sit at my desk I get this this uh, pain up here you know when you turn your head and you, you can kind of feel it you know the tightness that type of thing and the pain when I started treating that my thumb is better and, and so I can't say that that it it t totally takes it away because I always do what causes it, whether it's sitting, posture, how I walk, whatever it may be. But when I treat okay. this area regularly, this is better. All right, I'll give it a try. So that's that's a way to uh, move forward and and try that. Let us know. All right, I will. Thank you. And, and Hazel, what I'd like for you to yeah. do is uh, uh, write uh, send them send your name and information, your address and all of that to info at PEMF, magnawavepemf.com. That's info at magnawavepemf.com. And uh, okay. tell us if you want a hat or a hoodie and uh, we'll take care of that and send it to you. But we need to know your correct address. Well, we, what's happened is we have some people that have won. We've gone back to our information we have. We send it out and they've moved or changed addresses. Oh, okay. So we'd like for you to just send us uh, a message. That's info at magnawavepemf. Okay get a hoodie so um oh. I, i'll have a hat there you go there you go send us that information thanks okay all bye -bye. right thank you pat uh-huh bye-bye bye great question and uh, we have another one let me go back here and uh, get that one uh oh this is somebody wanting uh, with rf uh, dtv um special cowboy moments would like to put your con commercial on our show and they gave me the number so that that's pretty cool we got somebody from our uh rfd tv watching this morning sending us some information um we'll talk about that uh, at a different time certainly uh, rfd tv is great so if you'd like to ask me a question uh please do so uh send me a text and i'd be happy to uh to visit with you and answer your question. And you see, a lot of times we were able to go deeper. Uh, when Hazel asked that question uh, about her about her trigger finger, and I could share that information, we can kind of discuss it up the river and around the bend, uh, how you handle it on yourself is something that we always want to uh, deal with and uh, talk about. Ah, they put the info at Magnawave PMF on the screen for those of you who, who uh, write in and would like to uh, visit with me. So let's see here. Um, another question it's it's talked about is what is the uh, what is the normal voltage of, of of a cell and what happens to diseased cells? And uh, of course, there's several different ways to uh, have this conversation. But the cells in the body are designed to uh, work between uh, negative 20 and 25 millivolts. 
and for them to reproduce and heal and to, and to promote good health and then they need to be at negative 50 uh, to 70 millivolts in, in that type of situation. When we get down below 20 millivolts then we're in more of a diseased uh, type of state uh, whether that's uh, flu or, or uh, tumors or cancer or whatever it is the, the, uh, the uh, millivolts of the cell becomes effective they become diseased they become unable to to do their job and we need to do something to to bring that back and that can happen in a lot of ways and and certainly good blood oxygenation helps the helps the cells maintain at the mitochondrial level the voltage that they should have to remain healthy and to better do their job uh, people have in, in conversations i've had with doctors over the years when you when you supply pemf to the body you do a couple of things you help the cells be healthier you help the cells that are going to live their life and die and new cells to come take their place you help that all uh, move along properly and and, uh, and more along the way that it should uh, so we don't want uh, the the uh, lower millivolt uh, disease cells uh, in the body. We want to do what we can to enhance that situation and make things uh, healthier. So uh, that's kind of what's going on on there with with that type of situation with the millivolt power uh, in the body. Okay, a couple of things to uh, kind of discuss and bring up here. Again, certainly, uh, we'd love to have you join us on Alexa with the MagnaWave Flash Briefings. We present a new uh, bit of tidbit of content every day dealing with the history, with protocols, guidelines, specific indications, uh, how MagnaWave has been used, how PEMF has been used uh, in many different uh, indications. And it's just a great place to learn. If you want to learn more about PEMF just from the health and wellness aspect, it's a great place to go uh, to get that information. If you want to, if you're a practitioner and you want to be daily reminded of, of things to do, kind of like your daily motivational moment, if you will, this is what uh, MagnaWave can do, this is what PEMF can do. Oh, and you're having a conversation with somebody, it just increases your your ability, your your credibility to, to have all this stuff uh, on the tip of your tongue and on the top of your brain when you're dealing with your clients and if you're interested in MagnaWave PMF uh, for your, your particular uh, health and wellness. So join us on the flash briefings. A couple of updates uh, on the studies that are going on um, in, um, in, in California at the uh, uh, Palm Springs VA Center. They're doing a study on the uh, on bed sores uh, with MagnaWave PMF or PMF to our devices are being utilized for this particular study at the Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit study is uh, in process. You can go search this on the internet uh, to verify that these studies are taking place, that we're just not saying, oh yeah, we're doing studies. You can go online on the internet and search uh, and you'll find these studies at the Veterans Administration. And uh, the, the study in Florida, University of Miami, on um, arthritis and uh, of the knee uh, and elbow is ongoing. Where they are on that study is they're, they're lining up, they're getting the number of people they need, uh, to volunteers if you will, to participate in this study and that's where that particular study is. Uh, so we're looking, probably, you know, it takes a little time. You gotta do all the, the placebo effect and have the people that are getting treated both ways and with different devices and uh, to accumulate the information then you put it into a report and then you have it ready to submit to whether it's uh, state organizations or to the FDA uh, to gain specific approvals or to the to the uh, uh, accrediting agencies in other countries, the CE designation, so on and so forth that, that takes place uh, around the world. So uh, that's where we are on the studies that are taking place. Uh, certainly another little update, the uh, MagnaWave Express will be heading out here soon. Uh, the plan is to kind of head down into the area of Texas uh, for some uh, uh, clinics uh, if you will, and then to move over in the, it's here through the uh, winter. We may, it may venture into Florida or we may go out towards the uh, uh, Phoenix area and to the West Coast to uh, operate some clinics and to uh, visit some folks 
uh, practitioners and so forth across the country uh, through the winter months uh, this year. If you'd like for us to come visit you or you want to put a clinic together in your area, uh, certainly let us know and be happy to to do that. Uh, and then in the spring, we'll be uh, heading uh, north uh, into onto the east coast uh, up through uh, Maine and Connecticut, again with some visits and uh, clinics, and then come across into Michigan down into uh, the northern states. Um, of the United States. We're excited about that, looking forward to uh, getting out and, and uh, being with you, our uh, practitioners, and those of you who are interested in learning more about PEMF, whether you're a doctor or just an individual who wants to know more, keep, uh, keep following us on Facebook and we'd be happy to uh, uh, visit with you and keep you up to speed as to where we are. Okay, let's see, we got a question. Uh, can the MagnaWave flash briefings be made available on Amazon Canada. Ooh, Rob, well, gee, I, that's a great idea. And we're having a meeting in about 30 minutes with our uh, marketing folks, and we'll bring that up and uh, make sure that we have it available on MagnaWave, on MagnaWave, on Amazon Canada. I didn't realize that there was, uh, when you went to Alexa and, and uh, through Amazon, that it wasn't available everywhere. But thanks for uh, letting us know, Rob, and we'll certainly... Uh, We'll do that and make sure that that's uh, available to you. Thanks for uh, the question. Uh, folks, if you have any other questions, uh, let us know and we'd be happy to. Uh, uh, is there a question there from uh, Mary? Would like to on my, what is that particular? Let's see what that may be. Um, it worked on my knees and my mare's feet and whole body. There you go. I thought that was a question. And, and certainly, you know, uh, I don't know if Jason's with us today, but I, I did a webinar with, um, um, just a minute. <laughs> with Rosie Napravnik, Napravnik the other day and we were talking about how she used the MagnaWave on herself. She mentioned that the, the if she had had MagnaWave really available to her uh, when she was active in her career that she felt that she would be comfortable and feel good to have may potentially ridden for a couple of more years. I mean the pain that the jockeys go through and the, the uh, stress on their body is incredible. As a matter of fact we were talking uh, last evening at dinner that there's one of the leading jockeys in the country who has called us yesterday and saying I use this all the time I, I can't give his name today but I will uh, very soon to share it with you uh, how he needs this even more because he's at a point in his career that the pain is there and the stress is there and he uses it all the time and he wants to see what he can do to to have it available to him more often and certainly we have devices that are available for home use and a portable type of applications and, uh, and, and ironically at the same time same day uh, a pitcher who was very active in this past uh, World Series um, uh, wants to get on board and utilize this for his recovery and his uh, staying healthy uh, in his uh, pitching uh, routine. So we're, we're working hard to develop those types of, of aspects. It's, it's interesting that one of the things that I want to do and I want to work on uh, with uh, MagnaWave as we develop uh, different guidelines is to get deep into, you know, they talk about the Indianapolis 500 and the car racing and Formula One and NASCAR uh, being the leader in, in testing new stuff that then ends up in our cars design-wise and so on and so forth and, and we want to be able to do that. So we're trying to work very closely with these professional athletes like we've done in the horse world to work closely, to talk to the doctors, to find out the best applications, to find out the best ways to utilize this equipment so we can help the normal person, the person who has aches and strains and issues going on so we can see in this technical, in this stretched area here, and this or this person who really had an issue and we were able to use, the, use it this way to help them overcome their problem. And now we can translate that to the average person every day when I go out and work in my yard and do something I shouldn't be doing and strain my back, what's the best way to approach it? We want to go deeper than put it on and treat it. We want to know the, 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 the proper uh, uh, settings, what's a good way to start, when should we ramp it up, What? how often should it be done in these kind of cases. So we're really putting together case studies uh, in, in addition to the the or the real studies we're doing, third-party studies that are going to be used for FDA and accreditation, that type of situation. We're putting ourselves in a position, in fact, we're dealing currently with a pediatric um, 
uh, orthopedic surgeon here in Louisville that we're dealing with some of his clients that have non-union fractures or fractures that they're having difficulty healing and they don't want to. One particular case that we're talking about is a young man who's in high school in Louisville. He wants to go to the military academy. He's at very athletic in uh, football and soccer and those types of things and he's got a fracture, a stress fracture that isn't healing and they, and they don't want to go in and put plates in and rods in and stuff like that to promote it if they don't don't have to because he wants to go to the military academy doesn't want to have implants yes they can surgically go in and put some screws or a plate and then remove it later when the healing takes place but if we can do this without doing that and that's where we are with the surgeon we've met with the surgeon he's he's come to us we've experimented with shown them what it can do they've looked at various studies and one of the things they're talking about doing in a case study uh, type of situation is to treat this young man and to hopefully bring this which it does and it's FDA approved to do that to hopefully bring this uh, bone into a healing position more rapidly get it to take place get it to heal so we don't have to have the surgery and don't have to have the plates in and then removed uh, at a later time so the young man can pursue his desire to go to the military academy so those are some things that we're doing and it's it's interesting to talk about them and pursue them and uh, that's where we are if you have a question about that uh, let me know let's see if we did we get a question uh, yes Yes, we do have one. Let's see who we've uh, got here that would like to visit. Uh, Lori, Lori Reese. Uh, Lori's got a question. Let me uh, do this here. Let me bring up Lori. Um, here we go. Come over here. Let's uh, ring up Lori. And she's got a question on some uh, dental issues. So let's take a look here. Let's see if Lori's. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Uh, yes, this is Lori from South Florida. Yes, ma'am. I, I, uh, you know, I had some dental work done a couple months ago, oh. and they aggravated my nerves so badly. I've been using a uh, small coil at the base of my neck and trying to get my uh, the nerves in my mouth to be a little bit easier. Do you have any other suggestions? Um, I don't have the paddle because I have the max. I only have the big coil and the small coil. That's okay. I mean, you're you're fine. Um, uh, so, are you? Where in your did they do the procedure? Is on? Is it on one side? No, unfortunately, they did both sides. So oh. both the sides are reacted. Um, and of course, they wanted me to go and then get a root canal. And I'm like, well, I don't know about that. So I held off on that, and I have felt better. Um, trying to reduce the inflammation by using this, um, you know, using the device. Um, I have to do it at a very low setting, of course, because it's very, very sensitive. Correct. And um, so let me let me ask you this: Is there's no infection or anything? No infection. No. Nope. We did the antibiotics just in case, but it's just it seems to be that it's just maybe they went a little deeper than they should have, and, and they and wanted to do the root canal, and I of course don't want to. I want to give this a shot first. Before I go that route. Right, and, and I understand. I mean, there's a lot of people that have uh, issues with root canals and the, and the potential side effects and, and uh, uh, results that they don't want. Uh, so let me ask you this: When you treat, are you treating? You take the the butterfly coil. Do you place it right at your right at your mouth where you have the uh, the damage? <clears throat> I did. Um, I do on the jaw a little bit, but uh. then it just made it's a little almost too strong. So I'll do the base of my head I've done um, actually the uh, the sides like the back of the jaw where I feel like um, maybe that's where everything starts from you know like I try to go you know like you say up the river I try to go up further where I think it might be coming from exactly you well know? here here's something that I'd recommend if you if you take the device and you turn it down to where you you basically can't even hardly hear it exactly um, and use it at that strength you're still getting the the result you're still getting the application that you're looking for so certainly comfort is the key there the other aspect would be instead of the um, uh, butterfly right on it you could take the large loop basically and hold the large loop like this to where you're coming into your whole facial area uh -huh. And and so hold it there, and you might be able to turn it a little higher to get a little more energy comfortably. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. So you could try that. The other thing I'd maybe suggest would to take the large loop, put it over uh, your head, put it behind your back, and you know, kind of sit back on it so it's in contact there. And then you could either place it on your chest and hold it, and you're going like this with the energy yeah, I that, do that. that's being yeah, I released. Do that also. That's, or you that's could great. kind of bring it up raise it up oh, okay. to where the loop is like here and you're coming from this direction the issue with the nerve inflammation in a nerve is much more difficult to relieve than it is in muscle tissue and soft tissue so it's yeah. going to take some time so you want to make you want to find a comfortable setting to use where if the large loop will grant will give you that and I'd love to know how how you feel about that take that large loop and just basically put the energy into your lower jaw and, and area of your face and, he, and head at a comfortable setting and do it regularly I mean I, I don't think it would hurt for you to do it um, every day um, for, for like about what I've been doing um, is about 20 minutes about uh, four times a week. Uh, you know, I would say that you could maybe, because what you're dealing with, uh, that, that in many cases that would be ample, but if you've got an inflammation situation going on there and you stop today and you're eating and you're doing things that, that's, you know, happening that could, again, kind of re-irritate that area, uh, more often would be more critical than time. Right. So if, if it's possible to do it uh, daily, and I'd even look at it doing it six to eight minutes in the morning and six to eight, ten minutes in the evening at a comfortable setting. It, okay. it not only takes longer to get that inflammation out of a nerve in, from the standpoint of the potentiality of, uh, as NASA's study pointed out, that there is some potentiality of, of tissue regeneration, nerve regeneration, that's going to take time. And so the, the more you can approach the health of that area, the better off you might be down the road. So I would opt on the side, if it works for you, 8 to 10 minutes in the morning, 8 to 10 minutes in the evening, um, or whenever. And and, no, then, and and then and 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 do it at at what's comfortable and the large loop over the shoulders coming this way up through the head may be just the thing to get it get you more energy into the area comfortably. Want to remember that if if you're you you want to change that intensity uh, daily. Yeah, you don't have to do it daily, but change that intensity up through the week. Even sure, if, you, right. if if you're at the level of comfort and you can't go any higher, okay, don't go any higher, but go lower. Go lower for a couple of treatments and then come back to the next one. The tissue does not become normalized by it at that point. The tissue does not become so familiar with it that it kind of sloughs it off. So you want to change that up, change that intensity, change the direction if you can. You know, one day hold it here, the next day put it over the shoulders and come from different directions and approach it. Right, well, that's very helpful. I, I hate to say it, but when you're dealing with nerve, you're dealing with a more time-consuming issue. You've probably heard the story of my wife. It took us about 90 days. We did 30 days, stopped with her with her herniated discs, and she got a couple of weeks' worth of relief. We did another 30 days, she got four weeks' worth of relief. We did another 30 days thinking, hmm, maybe we'll get six weeks or maybe it'll go away didn't happen she got four weeks worth of relief and so every three to four weeks she needed to treat herself a couple of times to get three to four weeks worth of relief and now that's a herniated disc that can't go away in your case maybe you can get it to the point to control the inflammation inflammation is hard to get rid of in a nerve and it's slow to come so if you can get rid of it it's slow to come back if it's something that is is in caused by an anatomical type of situation. Very good. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so oh, very much. I all right. Appreciate so it. now do this. Uh, send an e send an email to info at magnawavepemf.com and uh, give us your name and address so we make sure we got your correct address and tell us if you want a hat or a hoodie. All right. Well, great. Well, thanks. Have a great day, everybody. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, great question, and, and again, uh, I just love to do that because it, it we can get so much deeper into the conversation uh, that we're having that people can uh, uh, can can learn more and, and gain more confidence 
in, in what they're doing. Any other questions, Brad? I can't see the screen. Oh, there. Um, will it help get rid of spider veins? Well, I, I don't have a definitive answer for that. Can improve circulation, improve blood flow in that area, help the situation be healthier and potentially uh, keep it from getting worse? I would think that's a potentiality. Can it help uh, calm it down and relieve it uh, because of the elasticity of the vein uh, being healthier? Certainly uh, worth a try, Hazel. Um, let us know. Uh, um, how that may work out for the client, uh, whatever the situation uh, may be. Um, okay, uh, we've had some very good questions. Let's see if there's uh, anything else that, that pops up. If anybody would like to visit, uh, please feel free to uh, send me a text. The number is 502-599-9722, and I'd be happy to uh, visit with you and answer whatever questions you may have or certainly approach them. If I don't have the answer, we'll go get it. We'll, we'll get our docs on the line and, and try to find out uh, what you want to know and, and is beneficial. Another thing that I'm going to do and um, um, my time is changing and uh, around here and how we're doing some doing some things, I'm going to put up a uh, calendar um, application to where if you want to speak directly to me there'll be a period of time uh, whether it be daily or however often it will be if you want to I'll put that link up and if you can go there and basically make an appointment and uh, and have a time to visit directly with me to uh, answer whatever questions you may have or to help you with any uh, uh, advancement in your learning and processes. We have a great staff here that that works well uh, with the training. Aaron Hughes handles that and, and has put great training together. Dr. Dreesen is active with us uh, in that area uh, as he's developing various things uh, in his practice. And we also have now what we call the just get a little tidbit here that we're really excited and it's kind of running full steam the uh, social command center so we have people that are manning our social channels whether it's uh, Twitter Instagram Facebook uh, whatever it may be LinkedIn that are there uh, throughout the entire business day to answer whatever questions or provide the people that are looking the answers that they're looking for in real time almost immediately whether that's a notification or a message through Facebook uh, whatever it may be, uh, we're here to answer those questions. So certainly uh, come reach out and, and we'll step up and, and answer those questions for you. They're also going, and this is for the practitioners who might be viewing this, they're also going to the practitioners that are participating in our marketing program and following up on their pages, uh, notifications and messages and helping their customers uh, get the information that they're looking for to again help them build, help you build your business and expand uh, the way you're dealing uh, with various uh, types of thing in, in uh, your business development. So we're excited to do that. We're calling it the uh, MagnaWave Con uh, Social Command Center and it's, we'll get some pictures and videos of it and uh, put those up for you to see. It's a pretty neat uh, center uh, that's, that's available with uh, folks in there. Uh, the whole time so through the, throughout the business day okay so uh, it's about 10 minutes till the hour uh, we got another meeting come up if you have a question uh, put it up there and I'll get to it right away if not uh, we'll certainly be back here with you next week on the MagnaWave office hours uh, I don't see any other questions coming up at this point so uh, thank you for being uh, with me uh, ch make a change in your life uh, to live healthy and well kept with MagnaWave. Wave on. Have a great week. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.